Sports. It's in the game. Someone blew me out cause I'm on fire. I can't even see what they say. They've been searching for that thing to get them higher. You can't catch my drift, can't catch my way.
EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up Cody with the Cleveland Browns. Cody Parkey now ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Atlanta. Fielded in the end zone. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. the first carry now for Todd Gurley and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there tackle that time by Ronnie Harrison well, that's just a pile of bodies there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it was only a three yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that field I'm like okay I can stand up when the going gets tough in here Second and seven now from the 28. And yeah, the play clock running very low, so Dan Quinn decides to call for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second down at seven. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now it's Ryan. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And they work this well up field across the 45. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. The 46-yard line. First and ten, it's Ryan. Gets this one to him. Give him ten yards on the pickup, and it'll be second and very short. More yards. Complete to Brian Hill. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley, and he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Four yards the pickup, first down. First and ten at the 41-yard line. pick up the first first and ten at the 30 yard line now a play fake here on first down that's caught over the middle by Hurst and they move this all the way down to the nine a well executed 22 yard game that's another Falcons from the gun it's Ryan that one complete to Hill and they'll be driven back here losing yardage to the 10 yard line It'll go as a loss on the play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. This will be caught at about the six. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. 
no gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. up with a goal line stand. Helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. Here's Nick Chubb, former prep and collegiate star here in this state of Georgia. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. the gun they run it with Hunt and he's going to have a Browns first down as he'll take this forward to the 27 running down a gain of five first down Browns Mayfield now looking to throw on first down he's going to look deep now and this will be caught at the third Touchdown, Cleveland. To number Jarvis Landry, 73 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Cody Parkey. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. It almost felt like they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little bit. Things jumped up. And you're exactly right. Going to make a highlight film or two. We'll be watching that one later on today. to kick off. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And Hall not going to bring this one out. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. out there for their next drive. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind. Julio Jones all alone. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Julio Jones, 75 yards. Now the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Ties the game at seven. Sterling Hawkrichter to kick off. So only even at seven now as they kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. 
Blopped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses them about four yards. At their own 21-yard line. to get started and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive and you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down from the gun Mayfield this is the tight end the Joku no gain there on the completion, second and ten. No gain on the play, second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 13, it's a first down. First down, Cleveland. And again, it's Mayfield. Intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback, you have a much better opportunity. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time. See if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. On first down, Ryan. Second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Gurley. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. It's third and seven. On third down, Ryan. He rifles it, it's intercepted. a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. Mayfield and the pressure gets there he'll go down it's a sack and it is going to bring us to the two minute warning oh, 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Mayfield now from the 50. That one is caught by Hunt. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10 yards. And it's third. Down. <laughs> On third down, Mayfield. This into the hands of Marvin Hall, complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. <laughs> on first down, they'll run with Chubb. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. First down, Browns. They run again on first down, Chubb. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. for it. Here's Chubb. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Touchdown. Nick Chubb as the first half is winding down. And the Browns have taken the lead. Cody Parkey. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Fields it in the middle of it. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Their own 18-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The Pro Bowl wide out Julio Jones, his intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down by Denzel Ward. Put 
after the incomplete pass. Here now is second and 10. Final play of the half, it's Ryan. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Sterling Hoffrick there to kick off for the Falcons. Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. And this will make it into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First down, Cleveland. They run. Chubb. And he powers his way up past the 30. With the give to Nick up from his linebacker spot, He's Deion Jones down. making the play. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Here's Mayfield. Dancing to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? <laughs> Mayfield from the gun on third down. Looking for Landry, and it's intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Casey. And he takes this one back into the end zone of the has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And we are tied at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. To it after the pick six, Mayfield going deep here for Landry. And incomplete, an excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. Makes it Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Just getting the play off. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Dante Fowler picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Mayfield in this Browns offense, staring at a third and long now after the sack. 
Mayfield now. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the 27. Nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. drive the Falcons offense at the line they have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three and it's such a tone setter isn't it because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half what do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield let's find out what they have dialed up so I'll back them up five him up five first and 15. Now Ryan. That's out to Hill. Right side complete. They get 14 yards but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. A gain of 14. Brings up second and one. Now on second down this is good. And he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line. Four yards the pick up first down. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. They run. It's Gurley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. At the 36-yard line. Now Ryan. He's got a man wide open, complete. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. Here's Gurley. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Here's Ryan. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Jones. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. It's a gain of three. Now third and Ryan. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Call it a gain of three. And that'll bring up fourth down. Here we go, it's Gurley. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Falcons have broken our tie. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yes, yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up 
Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Takes this about five yards deep. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up. His time is now run out on this third quarter of play. The Browns on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. From the gun, it's a give to Chubb. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Now Mayfield. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The Browns on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Throwing Mayfield. They set up the screen to Chubb. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. A gain of Move the chains. A gain of seven on third down. Mayfield on first down. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And all the way in. Touchdown. David Njoku, 45 yards. And the Browns are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. 21 apiece. Cody Parkey set to kick off. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And Hall not going to bring this one out. At their own 25-yard line. out there for their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, have that lead back. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Second and three. At the Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Here's Ryan. Ryan the by Stocker. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Now it's Gurley. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns' 40-yard line. 
first and 10 at the 40-yard line. Gurley again here on first down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. On, the tackle. on that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They out-leveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Ryan to throw. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 20-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. just about a few inches here on the pickup it's second and inches at the 10 yard line Early. seven yards on the pickup there and now they'll have it first and goal but they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast let the clock wind down Game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. This one back to the five yard line, but no further than that. Right call it, no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Expected fourth down here. Certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And this one is right through. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and it's incomplete. 
point. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen, possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot? So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.